Hey, what's up guys? One quick thing before I get into this video. I'm announcing today that from now on, I will be uploading new content every single day. That means from Monday to Friday, I will be uploading videos to this channel. And every single Saturday and Sunday, I will live stream here on YouTube. So that means content every single day. So remember to subscribe to this channel, to hit that notification bell, and also to like this video because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. So now that I got that out of the way, let's get right into the video guys. All right, in my opinion, the future of gaming never looked better. We have the PS5, a next generation console ready to give us breathtaking exclusives that changed the way games are made, just like they did with the PS4, only bigger and better. We have the Xbox Series X, the most powerful console in history, the Game Pass service, and most third party games compared to the PS5 will run and look better on the Xbox Series X by a small margin. And then we have the PC. The new NVIDIA GPU RTX 3000 series has finally been revealed and the price as well and finally it will launch on mid-September and mid-October and will basically deliver us the best place to play any game available of course to PC. I can truly say that I've basically never seen such impressive tech all lined up together giving the gaming community exactly what they want and need and these companies are showing us that they're ready to kill it for next generation. But shamefully, I only think two out of the three are on their way and has basically secured, in my opinion, ultimate success, while one still has something to prove this generation. And the two that for me will dominate the gaming market once again, in my opinion, will be PC and PlayStation. Now, before any Xbox fans get all upset and try to throw me the, but we're the more powerful console compared to the PS5, shut up and listen to what I have to say first before pulling that out. The reason why I say PC and PlayStation already have secured their place as the top dogs in the gaming community for next gen is because of the amount of people that actually have supported these two last gen and it's incredible to see because the PlayStation 4 is now the second highest selling console in history and with that in mind I wouldn't doubt that any PlayStation fan wouldn't be thinking about getting a PlayStation 5 so that's a plus for PlayStation and for PC I mean if you have the money you can actually build such a beast to the point where any game that you're putting in there it will just look way 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 better than any console ever and also a good thing about it is that now you can actually play xbox exclusive games that will come out in the future you can actually play them on the pc later on which is freaking amazing also another reason why so many people support and game on pc or playstation is because for example companies like nvidia and sony give the players exactly what they wanted. For example, Nvidia gives out great graphics cards, and even though it could have been a little bit overpriced this current gen, and some of the upgrades weren't as significant, gamers on PC had the ability to enjoy true stable 4K, and even had the ability to play up to 1440p 240Hz if you had a display that had the ability to output that resolution and refresh rates. Games honestly have never looked better on a PC and will only get better with the next gen NVIDIA 3000 series graphics cards which I'm so so excited to try out. And for example the PlayStation built a solid system and even though sometimes it does sound like a planes engine, it had undeniably the best line of exclusives ever made. And we had games like for example The Last of Us Part 2, God of War, Spider-Man PS4, Horizon Zero Dawn, Ghost of Tsushima, and many many more exclusives looking the best it could possibly be and pushing the PS4 to its absolute limits. I truly enjoyed seeing how games could look so good even though the power on the PS4 compared to any PC or even the PS5, it is truly underpowered, but at the end of the day, it still delivered masterpieces and good games and some bad games, but they all still looked very, very good, which is very impressive with the tech inside the PS4. And this just shows that you really don't need all the power in the world, you just need a team that actually cares about their supporters. That is why these two will dominate. They will deliver and they always give gamers exactly what they want and even though they aren't perfect they are still the best in the business for a reason so this means that the xbox is behind of the pc and the ps5 and for good reasons and if you have been living under a rock for the last seven years then I'll need to remind you guys exactly where this started for Xbox. I don't know if you guys remember the 2013 disastrous presentation they had when they launched the console. 
The Xbox One was so severely underpowered compared to the PS4 at the time that it was actually running games at 720p at the time. The console was being priced at $500, $100 more than the PS4, and what every gamer calls out Microsoft for, a lack of quality of exclusives that can sell a console and make a name for itself. Basically, for the last seven years, it's a console that is basically now the most powerful console in this current generation after the mid-cycle upgrade, but it still has barely any games to show the world what they can actually do with all that power. Now, I'd love to say that Microsoft and Xbox have come a long way since that disastrous event back in 2013. I'd love to say that they have learned that it's not just about power and services, but the most important thing for the gaming console and for gamers are actual games. I'd love to say that they have actually fulfilled their promises in showing the whole world actual Xbox Series X gameplay footage and show us what their next gen system can actually do, something that barely the Xbox One showcased. Well, shamefully, the closest we've actually gotten to that is yet again another disastrous event for Xbox in which every game they have showed in that event was basically either a cinematic trailer or a minute teaser. And what is very embarrassing is basically when Microsoft before was claiming that that event that we will basically see a lot of mic dropping moments and all we got was basically a few trailers and a few teasers. And also we had that highly anticipated Halo so that was the only thing that was going to save that showcase. I was truly waiting to see how good Halo was going to look on an Xbox Series X. I mean the 12 teraflops, I mean it's the most powerful console ever. I just wanted to see how good the game was going to look. But shamefully and as expected, Xbox did not deliver once again because the demo was incredibly disappointing. Bruh. The gameplay was solid, but the graphics were so disappointing, so bad, that even by today's standards and by current generation standards, this game barely passes as a current gen game. And that's honestly being super generous. If people are saying that Sony truly dropped the ball because they possibly won't be a fully backwards compatible console, then what did Microsoft and Xbox drop when they unveiled Halo Infinite looking like this? I mean, like this. Just just look at that. <laughs> look at the trees. Just look at everything. It's 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 hideous. I mean, it does deserve 100% every single thing thrown at it every single meme throwing it i mean just look at this meme from the from this enemy i mean <laughs> i mean come on i mean this is not acceptable and more for what the console has the power that this console has we should be getting better and xbox fans just look what they're getting man i mean no wonder they just act the way they act it's just it's just embarrassing and honestly i truly feel sad for them I mean, the only thing that was going to drive sales for the Xbox Series X and actually make it relevant for this holiday was going to be none other than Halo Infinite. And shamefully, that game has now been delayed until 2021 because of how bad basically it was on the showcase and of all the feedback it's been getting, I mean, it needed to be delayed. They put all their eggs on one basket and now all their eggs are cracked. With this, it truly is pointless to get an Xbox Series X on launch. And even more now that most of the games that come exclusively for Xbox will also be available for PC next gen. So guys, I'm truly asking this with no intention in insulting Xbox fans. What is the reason I should buy an Xbox Series X in the first place? If I have a powerful PC that the only thing I have to do is just replace the graphics card that I have and put an RTX 3080 and just play amazing games on that and play the Xbox exclusives that will be available on PC and also will look a hundred times better. Why should I buy an Xbox Series X if the PlayStation 5 is offering also third party games that will look very similar graphic wise to the Xbox and will have better loading times and at the end of that a ton of exclusives that will keep blowing the industry away for so many years to come. Even gamers on Twitter are basically saying that PC plus PlayStation 5 is literally the way to go for next gen, and honestly, I don't blame them. 
I mean, when you have Microsoft basically focusing on trying to sell you Game Pass subscriptions, instead of actually trying to show you why you should get an Xbox Series X, make you understand the importance to get an Xbox Series X, and barely showing you games worthwhile to play only on Xbox. And that for sure is a big, big problem. Now, for any Xbox fan that is out there, I would love for you guys to tell me why I should invest on an Xbox Series X over a PlayStation 5 and sacrifice games like Spider-Man Miles Morales, Ratchet and & Clank, and Demon Souls if I already have a powerful PC and soon an RTX 3080 that will run Xbox games as well and also will look way, way better. I just would love to know your insight on this. And yeah guys, this is just basically my little explanation on why PC and PlayStation will keep dominating for the next generation. I think I have solid points, and if you want to add on on that, please let me know in the comment section down below every single one of your thoughts. Do you side with PC or PlayStation, or do you side with Xbox? I would just love to know every single thing you guys want to tell me. Let me know in the comment section down below. I promise I will read every single one of your comments. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to get notified on my future videos. YouTube can be a pain in the ass and sometimes they're just dumb as hell. And even though you guys might be subscribed to my channel, it might not show my videos when I upload them. And actually, only 15% of the people that are subscribed to this channel have hit the bell and those are the ones who get notified. So if you guys want to see my videos and you just keep on on missing them hit that notification bell and you won't miss a single video also destroy that like button because it really really helps with the youtube algorithm and with the channel and just one last thing just to remind you guys i will be uploading every single monday through friday and i'll stream every single saturday and sunday so that means from now on new content every single day for you guys that's the commitment i'm actually putting into this youtube channel no more kidding around I could say I already had like my mini vacation on YouTube, not posting as much as I want to, but from now on, new content every single day. So stay tuned for that. Stay positive, stay safe, keep playing, and I'll see you guys next time.